Joining us now is the, uh, on the program is the founder and program overseer at the Lawn Academy, which helps to provide lawn services to our elderly community. Eric Miller joins us now on the Michigan Megacast. Eric, thank you for being with us. Well, Tyler, how are you doing today? Doing well. How are you, Eric? Pretty good. Great. Good to hear. Uh, tell us a bit about yourself and, and your background and also the background of the Lawn Academy and how that, this program got started. Okay, Tyler. Yes. Um, my name is Eric Miller. Um, uh, I'm a uh, Memphian, uh, born, raised in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, I work for the automobile industry, and um, I had a great opportunity to, um, to relocate into eight different cities. Detroit, Michigan is the eighth city, and it's lovely. It's wonderful. Um, so that's me, a little bit about me. Um, my background uh, from a um, from an educational standpoint, uh, my background is in mechanical engineering and uh, in human resource uh, management and human resource leadership. Um, how this got started, um, uh, we provide uh, leadership training for youth um, um, through a college immersion process where the youth uh, also provide free lawn care services for our seniors, veterans, and people with disabilities at no charge. Okay. Um, and how this got started, um, um, my mother was a lifelong educator. She was a career educator. Uh, her specialty, though, was educating youth with special needs. Uh, and she was great at it. Um, so and she dedicated pretty much her life to education. Um, when she passed of cancer, um, it was something I, I, I looked at that and said, you know what, hmm, I wanna do something in memory of her. I wanna do something um, that would be, uh, that would uh, be representative of her legacy. Uh, and, and that is uh, to provide an avenue to further develop youth. And by doing so, uh, the character development piece of it was large. So not only the educational piece of it, but the uh, character development. And that's where uh, we incorporate uh, lawn care services for seniors, veterans, and people with disabilities. Just how wide ranging of a community of people is your organization serving, both on the education front for the, for those that are getting these educational opportunities, but also in the lawn care services that you're providing to the elderly community, to the disabled community? Just how far ranging of a group of people and how many communities is the Lawn Academy ultimately benefiting? Okay, if you look at uh, a map of Detroit, we're in almost every neighborhood in the city of Detroit. So. Uh, we, this summer, as an example, uh, we're going to have over 100 youth between the ages of 11 to 19. Um, we also work with our community education partner, our educational leader, which is uh, Wayne County Community College District, where we put the youth in a college classroom as early as age 11. And the purpose of that is to expose them to higher levels of education, and to show them what's the expectation to think up, to always look up, think upward, uh, think upwardly. Okay. Uh, so uh, when it comes to that, so in the number of people we service, we serviced over 250 seniors throughout the city of Detroit. This summer, and we'll talk about this a little bit later, we're looking to service 645 seniors veterans and people with disabilities and the reason why we're so widespread across detroit is because seniors can get in contact through us to us through united way 211 just by calling 211 saying that you are a senior veteran or a person with disabilities and that you need help with your lawn they're going to uh, transfer you to us the lawn academy and we'll take it from there so, and the service we provide, just so you can know, it's not a one-time service. No. When we take care of our seniors, veterans, and people with disabilities, it's for the whole summer. They do not have to worry about their lawns for the entire summer. 
And so how did ultimately your, your organization, you told us some of the background, uh, particularly on the youth services side of mm -hmm. this organization. Uh, of course, we're with Eric Miller, the founder and program overseer at the Lawn Academy. But ultimately, those lawn care services for uh, for the elderly community, for veterans, for people with disabilities, where did that ultimately get settled in as the service angle of this organization? Uh, uh, there's so many different ways that you can serve your community, you can serve these populations that you do. Why lawn services? Growing up in Memphis, Tennessee, that's why it was so critical. I never thought about it until I was looking for a way, I was asking God, you know, how can I provide something that would be meaningful for the development of youth? Uh, at first, you know, with my background being engineering, I thought of something in the STEM, STEM area. And then it came across to me so clearly that, okay, if I go the STEM route, you're gonna exclude a lot of youth because they're gonna say, well, I'm not good in math, science, English, things of that nature, so don't go that route. Then it came across to me, Eric, what did you used to do since the age of six years old in Memphis, Tennessee? I thought back on it and I took care of, through gardening and through lawn care services, senior citizens throughout the city of Memphis. So, and then thinking back on that, I said, wow, in doing so, I was exposed to so many great singers, that wisdom. My grandmother, Rosie Henderson, Miss Tappan, Miss Flagg, and, and it gave me a, a great sense of community and compassion to others. And also, it allowed me to really know how to manage time, time management, things of that nature. And I said, wow, that's gonna be, that's gonna be the entry point. So we're gonna use the lawn as an avenue to, to train young men and women. And we're gonna wrap an educational component around the lawn. So lawn academy. So the lawn is only the entry point. And then in, in, in the way that we enveloped it with all of the uh, uh, academics and other uh, attributes, it's, uh, it's pretty effective. Because one thing I do know most people have the capacity to go out with a, with a rake, with a shovel, with a lawnmower, with something and be of service. So that was the way of including all youth, all youth. Beautifying Communities, one lawn at a time. More information from the Lawn Academy on their website, lawnacademy.com. That's lawnacademy.com. We're joined by founder and program overseer Eric Miller with us on the Michigan Megacast. Uh, you mentioned earlier the Summer College Immersion Program for Youth and, and kind of uh, how that gives them a look into higher education uh, at, at, uh, at a variety of different ages. Can you tell us how uh, kids can get involved? If there are still opportunities for them to get involved uh, in the Lawn Academy and specifically in that program and also your 2022 free after school program okay so a couple things yes yeah. so to get involved first of all we're almost at capacity just so you can know okay yeah uh we uh two weeks ago three weeks ago we put out a a, a net to say we needed a hundred youth we feel that in less than a week okay mm -hmm. we feel that in less than a week so what we so what I also wanted to do I wanted to be uh, inclusive intentionally inclusive. So what I always want to make sure is that when we say the Lawn Academy is for everyone, the Lawn Academy is for everyone. So we specifically went out and recruited youth with disabilities. Uh, so we we reached out to to some organizations. We reached out on uh, LinkedIn and other places, and we were able to get some great candidates. That, we're, that we also are bringing on this summer that's gonna assist us in providing for others, okay? okay. So, 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 so that's that piece. The piece that we do need, and I think you know this person, I know this person, we all know this person. We, first of all, we work with, uh, at last summer, we worked with the Hannon, the Hannon Center, uh, the, uh, the director there, Vincent Tilford. And, and, and he enlightened me on something that was, that was quite interesting. And that was, and it's also troubling at the same time, that 
studies show that seniors live exponentially longer if they're able to stay within their own home. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing is that seniors that do remain at home, a lot of them outlive those that they're familiar with. So loneliness is a true, true problem. It's a real problem. It's a real problem for our seniors, okay? So what we're doing is that when we call a senior to say, okay, Ms. Johnson, we're gonna be there tomorrow at let's say 10 o'clock in the morning, that 15 second or 10 second uh, announcement or scheduling that I just provided normally takes on average 20 minutes to deliver. You know why? Because once that senior gets that call, in a lot of cases, that's the only call they're gonna get that whole day. So what we did intentionally, we brought on a person by the name of Miss Matthews. She's, she's one of the seniors. She calls all the other seniors. And guess what? Miss Matthews loves to talk. I said, Miss Matthews, you're the person I need because you love to talk. I need a person that loves to talk to people, that loves to make people feel special so that that 15 second telephone call needs to be 20 to 30 minutes. That's what I need. But we're gonna be reaching out to almost 645 seniors this summer. I need, I need working with us this summer, some seniors that love to talk, <laughs> that love to talk, <laughs> that, can, <laughs> that can talk about something like this and make it a 30 minute conversation. That's what our seniors need out there. We want to attack this real thing that's called loneliness, and we want to let our seniors know that they're loved. More information, so, but oh, please continue. Go ahead. So yeah, so they can go on to uh, lawnacademy.com and just shoot us, shoot us to uh, uh, contact us there and say, hey, I'm a senior. I would love to make some of those telephone calls for you, Eric, and uh, and and just sign me up. I'll do it. Eric, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.